of one of the many new innovations here at the DMG Mori open house in Fronton this week is the DMF 400. Fabian, uh, you're from Sayback. You head up this line, don't you? What's new about this uh, 400 machine and what is it? So for us, the DMF 400-11 is the last machine in the row. So we start with implement implementation of the new concept in uh, three years ago with the 200-8 and now we fulfill the last size of the DMF 400 is the success of the DMF 360-11 so we have now four meter of x-stroke in comparison to 3.6 meters and of course for sure a lot of changes in the concept so well we'll talk about those I mean it's huge a traveling column machine five axis you can turn on it you can grind on it you can do everything can't you yeah, so this is uh, also a big change in comparison to the predecessor that we now implement all the technology cycles we have at Team Jimari. For example, the, the FD option is available. We can choose a table on the right side, on the left side. You can choose NC tables as an A axis or as a C axis. You can choose grinding options. So that is also as an FDS version available. And uh, yes, it's the most flexible machine in my point of view. How long would it take me to take that out and then actually use the machine on a whole? So nearly 15 minutes. Okay. I personally stopped this with my guys at the factory. So uh, 50 minutes, you have to put it on a crane. I was going to to crane it out. Yeah, 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 crane and then in behind there is a, is a location defined and then it's fine. Now you have gonna... only to lose this four screws. And in a minute, we're going to go around the back of the machine and see the construction. But before we do that, one of, the, one of the things that people uh, talk about with this type of machine is when the head is extended, do you get the same surface finish, positional accuracy when you're at the end of your stroke as you do at, at the other end of the, the, the y-axis? How, how do you over, or do you for, as an answer from yourself? And if you do, how do you achieve that? Yeah, so this is the most suitable and biggest change in the concept for the predecessor. So we have now a constant overhang in the y-axis. So, and now it doesn't matter if I'm milling in this position or in the back position, it doesn't matter. It's the same milling performance and the milling performance is really impressive. I think we show this we to you later, yeah. yeah. And uh, yes, this is the main, the main change of the concept. And the, separ uh, the second big change is the tool change in concept. In the past, we have the, yes, the pain point that the tool changer is driving over the over the table. Yeah, so maybe you have collision with your workpiece or something like this. So this is, you have to secure that. You now can... you don't have that Well, the tool changer happens outside yeah. of the working area. Exactly. So now we, we change the complete concept. There is no, uh, no more door opening, a yeah, standard door. Now the complete uh, uh, column goes behind. Then there is a gate opening and the, and the tool changer is driving out. Uh, Behind the table, no more collision to the table. This this part here, typical kind of mold and die yeah. part, which is really a, probably a focus, isn't it, for you here? And um, the the key parts are the the surface finish and the the um, the precision of the part. I suppose your demonstration is to show that, is it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because uh, in the past we're struggling a little bit with kind of this part sometimes because in the past we have this uh, how can I say not constant overing. We have the, the, the X stroke as more as the X, uh, Y strokes comes out, it's not stiff enough. And then you get vibration on the X stroke. And so maybe sometimes you see in this position, the surface quality is not as good as now we. Okay, uh, now let's, let's go this way slightly because we're into the second uh, sort of working area of the machine. Some of these chips I see here, uh, we're actually going to be seeing the machine cutting this shortly we're doing a u-drilling operation and a face milling operation on on, on these blocks here so i'm, I'm yeah. looking looking forward to that and um, let's go around the, the back of the machine and actually see how it's constructed yeah yeah in here then fabian this is what i really like about coming to factories is being able to see how the machines are made and see what goes into it just talk me through here the, the key points that that you believe you guys have addressed in how these machines are now best in class yeah so you see here mainly there is first of all uh, iron cast bed. So in the past we have mineral casting. Now we have a massive iron cast bed. So this is really stiff. You see three linear guideways for stiffness. So we got one there, one in the middle, yeah. and then one uh, on the left there. 
you see also that every linear guides are cooled with a cooling system. So we have here a perfect thermal stable machine, also for long-term stab uh, stability. And you see also the massive construction of the traveling column. Yeah. So and this is where you can see what happens is that moving the Y axis moving in and out, the whole casting yeah. is moving, isn't it? which is why you don't get that kind of droop that yeah. you talk about. Exactly. One other area and one final point is the linear drive motor technology. All of the axes are driven by linear drives, are they? Oh, the X axis is driven by linear drive in standard. So we have there a uh, linear drive is uh, 42 meters uh, feed rate. So, so no ball screws no in that axis. Screws in this axis, yeah, exactly. Only ball screws in the uh, Y and the X axis. Okay, let's see it in action. Yeah. So what are we seeing first, Fabian? Yes, and now we see a uh, um, high feed cutter milling with a cutting deck of two millimeters. So we have their tip volume up to 1,500. So this is quite a big number in comparison to what we can before. So this is more than 30% more as the predecessor. And, and when we look at machining transformation, which is a big part of your open house here, what areas of this machine does that apply to? Yes, so in my point of view, every area of transformation, so also the green transformation. So we have included all the new technologies and cooling units uh, you can uh, get on the market, the best for our climate. And for sure also uh, machine transformation, which means we bring all processes into one machine. We have here, what I already tell, grinding option. You don't need a grinding machine anymore. FD option, for example, you can uh, produce uh, gears We are uh, gear skiving with FD option. Okay, and now this is uh, this is this is the really impressive bit. So we're going to see this. How big is that unit? Yes, this is a 100 millimeter diameter driller, and now we uh, get this in full metal. Huh? And you can touch the machine, and you will feel nothing. It's like butter. Huh? Yeah, tank. I mean, it literally just crack. Yeah, there's no there's no vibration. There's, there's nothing at all with it. And, and the y-axis is extended quite a lot as well, isn't it? In, yes. in, in performing this operation. Yeah. How deep is that going to go, Fabian? Or how deep did yes. that go? How, how deep the driller can, so it doesn't depend. Eh? And now we see the uh, actual tool changer doing what you said earlier. It's all happening outside of the working envelope. Yeah. Which I suppose means you avoid any collisions or any potential issues of having to put yeah. parts in certain areas of the table. Um, final operation, what are we doing now? This is also very impressive. This is a face miller we have here cutting depth of 8.5 millimeters so this is really quite a impressive number and uh, yeah a chip volume up to 1000 and also here the machine is so stable so smooth running and uh, nearly when they are finished and you look at the surface you see nothing of vibration on the surface um your technology cycles are a big part of what dmg mori talk about as well of course they would apply hugely to a machine of this technology wouldn't they with all the five axis the gear skiving yeah big part of what you've been talking about at the show this week yeah for sure so we have implemented most of the suitable technology cycles also in the machine are here available okay and, and just give us a, a highlight of those as well for people that don't know what the technology yeah. cycle for example a very famous or from my point of view impressive technology cycle is the gear skiving cycle you need fd option and fd table and then you can produce gears with this fd table uh, with this cycle very easily. You only have to choose your module, number of TEs and all this stuff, and the rest is done by themselves by the machine. And I saw on one of the screens, you had one of these uh, these tables with two turning tables in it. Yeah. I mean, is that a popular option? And, and why would you need? You yeah, know? because for, for example, if customer choose separation wall and want to produce without, uh, in, the, in, the, in the meantime, gear part and make the next fixture setup in the separation work area. And this is why they need two tables because there we, they can produce and in parallel, they can set up the new next uh, job. And where are these made, Fabian? These machines here, we're in Fronton today, but they're not made here, are they? Yeah, made so them. this is made in my factory in, in Syringia in the middle of Germany uh, at Team Jumori Seba.